makeup lovers how are you guys doing today so i'm excited for this video because i'm going to be testing out the lightest shade of the born this way foundation from Too faced which just looks like this i've wanted to try this for a really long time but for a while they did not have a shade that matched my skin tone which we'll talk about in just a moment but um whenever it did come out everyone was talking about it and i was kind of just like eh do i really need another foundation but then jaclyn hill talked about it and the way she described it sounded perfect to me so i wanted to go ahead and give it a try so i ordered it through ulta and i will have it linked down below in case you guys are interested i do have affiliate links which means that if you purchase through them i make a small commission but i really appreciate it and if you're not comfortable then you can just google search born this way foundation so let's just go ahead and talk about the shade range they now have 35 colors which is really really great that's actually the third extension to their line i'm not as familiar with the deep shades how many if they have extended those the last time okay so basically what i'm trying to say is they came out with the foundation line i'm not sure how many shades they had but i know that they ended up coming out with two more light shades second second extension that they did Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that when they originally came out with the foundation line, like there was definitely not a shade that was going to work for me. And then the first extension that they did, they added the two lighter shades. I think it's like snow and something else. One's supposed to have a yellow tone and one's supposed to have a pink tone. And I was excited to try those, but I went in store and I swatched them whenever they were finally in store and they were still too dark for me. And then they did a third extension where they worked with Jackie Ina and she did a lot of deeper shades and kind of some in-betweens, just filled it out so that everyone could have a shade and also a new lightest shade, which I really, really appreciated, which is the shade that I'm holding now called Cloud. This is described as the fairest rosy um, shade and I do agree that it is super, super fair. However, rosy, I feel like it's leans a little bit more neutral on me which I appreciate because I was kind of nervous to buy a rosy foundation because I feel like pink tones like super pink tones just don't look right with my skin tone I don't I don't know I feel like I have like especially in my arms you can see like compared to my face I feel like I have a bit of warmth there so when a foundation is super pink toned I just I just don't like how it looks on me um so I feel like this is definitely a little bit more neutral if you are one of the people who's super fair and have more yellow undertones, I'm not sure if this is going to work out for you, but I would say definitely give it a try. So before I get into all the information, I am going to go ahead and just insert some swatches real quick comparing this to a few other foundations that I have. Okay, so this first one here is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Cloud. Next to that is the Tarte Reinforces D Foundation in the shade Porcelain. This next shade here is the um, It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair, and this one really blends into my skin well. This is like my my summer shade right now. It was working out really well for me, so you can see, obviously, that cloud is a little bit too light at this moment, but I think when winter hits, I won't be able to wear the It Cosmetics one, and I will be able to wear cloud. So next over is this one right here, which is the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula in the shade LC one. This here is NARS um, Luminous Weightless, something like that, Naturally Flawless, something, a really long extravagant name, but it is the shade Siberia. And then the last shade here is the Flower Beauty, um, their new like Luminous Foundation, with the Light Illusion Foundation, sorry, and it is the shade Porcelain. So hopefully this will give you just a little bit of reference for your shade. Okay, so before I jump into application, I do want to read off the claims from the Ulta website. I just always like doing this just so we know what this foundation is supposed to do. And they actually have a ton of informa information on there. So I definitely recommend reading the full thing if you have the time um, and you're trying to decide whether to purchase the foundation or not. But it says um, it's medium to full, undetectable coverage, hydrating, long wearing for 12 hours, photo friendly, no flashback, non-comedogenic, oil-free, coconut water aids, and delic delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels. Alpine Rose helps empower skin's health and resilient, resili resilience, geez. And hyaluronic acid gives a smoother, more youthful appearance. So, really quickly, I just want to test out the flashback. We're just going to see. Let me make sure my flash is on. So I will agree that it doesn't have any flashback. I'm going to leave the picture right here just so you guys can see. Um, my face is super, super white and I, I'm not just spoiler alert before you even get into the demo. I think that this is definitely going to be a winter shade for me. Like when my skin hasn't seen the sun in like three months, that's when the shade is going to fit me. So if you're one of those people and you're looking for the lightest, 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 lightest shade ever, I think that you should definitely try this out because it's for now, I'm going to play with it, but I'm going to mix it in with something a little bit darker. 
Also, I wanted to mention that the foundation does retail for $39 and it has 1.0 fluid ounces, which is pretty um, standard for a liquid foundation. So if you want to see how it applies and how it wears throughout the day, then just keep watching. So as always for primer, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. This is just my favorite primer, so I like to use it when I'm trying out a new foundation. Alright, so one side of my face, I'm going to go ahead and use the Sigma F80 Black Kabuki Brush. And then on the other side, I'm going to use a damp sponge. This one just happens to be from Ulta. I'm just going to go ahead and start off with like one pump, basically. And start with the brush. Okay, coverage. So the color is actually lighter than me. Okay. So I think that this cut shade will match me really well in the winter. Mm, I really don't think that I'm liking it with a brush. I don't know. So there's what the brush side looks like. Like I said, I'm pretty impressed with the color. It looks super light. I feel like my my ring light makes my face look even whiter than it is. Like, compared to my body, I feel like it kind of throws the lighting off a little bit. But in person, I could definitely get away with this, even though I feel like um, my skin definitely is, I think, a little bit more on the warm side. And maybe like half a shade darker right now because of summer. Um, but I'm impressed because the previous lightest shade was too dark for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do another pump. And I find that this, this is actually a really easy pump to control which is nice, you can add just a tiny, tiny bit more. And I'm gonna go in with the sponge side. Way less coverage on that side. I'm gonna go in with another layer. Okay, so it's weird because I feel like I like the finish of the sponge side more, but I like the coverage of the brush side. So maybe I would go in with the brush first and then go in with a sponge over it. So I think so far it does look nice. I wouldn't say that I'm like blown away by it. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll be back to go give you guys like another glance after my face is done and then we're going to go ahead and do a wear test and see how it wears throughout the day. Okay guys, so here's how the foundation is looking. I did go ahead and powder my face and also I ended up using setting spray as well, but I think it, it looks fine. I feel like it's got good coverage. It doesn't look dry anywhere. It looks smooth. Um, I'm actually not getting any creases in my smile lines yet, which is a miracle. And also, I really don't have anything going on in my forehead either, which is really where I normally crease. So I do like it so far, and I will be back in 8 hours to show you guys how it wore. Actually, let me show you guys the time right now, even though I probably should have showed you the time when I finished the foundation. We'll just take like 30 minutes off this time for my 8 hours. It is now 1.57, so I'll try to be back at like 9.30, 10-ish to show you guys how it wore throughout the day. Alright guys, so I'm well aware of the fact that I look absolutely crazy right now. I definitely tested out this foundation. I had a pretty full day. I actually took a nap and like my entire eyeliner on this side came off. So that was, that was great. And then obviously the lashes came off. And this is how my face is looking. It is now um, pretty much 11 o'clock, 10.59. So it's been nine hours since I put the foundation on and... Okay, so part way throughout the day, I looked at my face like really close in the mirror and it looked really good. Like, it looked, still looked full coverage and when I got really close, like it didn't really look like I had a ton of foundation on, which I thought was really nice, which I think goes true to their claim that it was like kind of undetectable coverage. I do feel like it's not like super heavy on the skin. I'm looking now and I would say it looks more medium coverage. I can still, I can see more redness and a little bit of freckles peeking through, but I was sweating. Me and my little sister were dancing to like some songs or whatever. Um, and it did start creasing around my smile lines, but it's honestly not that bad or dramatic. Um, and I really don't have any creasing on my forehead. Honestly, I think it looks okay. Looks pretty good for 11 hours, and they said that 12 hours was their wear time, so I think that's pretty accurate. And it still looks fine, like, other than, like, this wing completely missing, I would totally go out of the house looking like this. Like, I'm not, like, hating it or anything, so... 
I'm definitely gonna keep trying it out, probably mess to test it out, mix it with other foundations, you know, all that kind of stuff, and see how I really feel about it. But from first impression, I do like it. I think it's worth a try, and the new lightest shade is really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.